Hi there, I'm Jose, an accountant for Studio J, and I want to tell you how I use Function Point. We practice accrual accounting, and we bill based on fixed prices. That means invoicing what we negotiated with the client instead of the actual value of our time and expenses, and only claiming revenue after we've done work. Sometimes I just need to bill a single job, like this website, for example. It starts with a deposit. For that, I just enter an amount and then a description. Once the deposit is created, if I want to check it before sending it, I can produce a PDF. Otherwise, I send it directly from Function Point. Then I put it in the queue for syncing with QuickBooks. Since I've got QuickBooks for PC, it won't go over until I do an actual sync. If you've got the online version, it's a one-click export. Then as work gets done, we invoice at predetermined intervals. At 50% completion, I produce an interim invoice for 50% of what we estimated the job would be worth. I usually apply half the deposit to this invoice as well. When I do that, it gets subtracted from the total owing. Then I save the invoice, send it directly from function point, and put it in the queue for syncing. When the sync happens, the deposit amount I've claimed moves from a liability account to a revenue account. When the job is done, I issue a final invoice and apply the rest of the deposit to it. The only difference between interim and final invoices in Function Point is that final invoices make it so you can't track any more time or expenses to the job. Just like with the interim invoice, I save it, send it, and post it. When everything's confirmed, I mark the job as closed. For campaigns, events, and other multi-job projects, I invoice several jobs at once. For those, I start from the project those jobs are listed under. Again, I issue a deposit, entering the amount I want to collect, and describing what it's for. Same as with a single invoice, I preview it, send it right from function point, and put it in the queue for QuickBooks. Then I send interim invoices throughout the project. I can pick and choose what to include, or invoice everything at once. I edit amounts for each job to claim parts of the deposit. Then I send the invoice and post it. When we're done, I create a final invoice from Estimator for all the jobs in the project, subtracting the remaining deposit from the amount owing, and in doing so, claiming the rest of that revenue. And as usual, I'll send it to my client and post it to QuickBooks. We also have retainers. For those, we bill a set amount each month, regardless of the jobs we do and how much time we spend. We might have two or three jobs in one month or a single job for several months. Since the invoice and jobs aren't related, but we still want to compare the value of our invoices with our time and expenses, we set those jobs up in a special way. We start with a project, which in function point is a group of related jobs. Under the project, we have one job for billing. Every month, we invoice the retainer from that same job. We also use that job to track and bill expenses. Since we had an expense this month, I'll edit the invoice to make sure it gets included. Then I'll save it, send it, and post it. I do that every month from the same billing job. No one tracks time to the billing job. Instead, people track time to separate jobs for each deliverable. Then we can look at the retainer financials to compare what we invoiced with what we did. If this number went too far into the negative, we'd know we should negotiate a better deal when the contract is up. At the end of the contract, I go back into the billing job and issue a final invoice. Again, I edit to include unbilled expenses, save it, send it, and post it. 
Then I do a search for any jobs in the retainer that haven't been closed yet. And make sure I mark them as closed. Finally, I mark the retainer project as closed. You might handle retainers differently because they tend to vary across agencies. Another important thing I do in Function Point is pull reports. Every week I do a search for unposted invoices to make sure QuickBooks is up to date. I also search for expenses, first checking to see if there's any we've forgotten to bill. Once I've sent invoices for jobs with unbilled expenses, I do another search for expenses with the status of unposted, and I click into each expense to post it. I also like to pull a couple ready-made reports on a regular basis. One of my favorites is the Estimate, Actual, and Invoice Dollars by Company, Project, and Job Report. It shows me how long jobs have been open, and how much has been invoiced, among other things. If something has been open for longer than a month, and I haven't sent an invoice yet, for me, that's a problem. And that's about all I have to show you. Thanks for watching.